What's good out there, guys? It's Roll Easy here, and welcome back to another GTA 5 online solo money glitch video. In this video, yes, it's all about the solo money glitch, the hooker dupe. Now, there was a very slight patch to it, but there's a super easy workaround, and that's what we're going to be going over in this one. And uh, we're also going to be going over how to freeze time so that you don't have to wait till, you know, midnight or 1 a.m. to actually find the hookers. We'll be able to freeze time, and we're also going to be going over a way that that you don't have to murder or you don't have to kind of block both sides of the vehicle okay once you have the hooker in there so yeah some very very cool modifications to the glitch to make you hit it a lot more often all right so what you're going to need for this is an moc with the personal vehicle storage and uh, this works on xbox one and ps4 uh, you don't need custom plates for this what you want is a casino penthouse garage and or, or an arena workshop i'm going to be using the casino penthouse and in this garage is where you actually want to have the cars are duping remember it's or LG Retro Custom are the cars to dupe and uh, have a bunch of Fagios in a 10 car garage somewhere okay just have a bunch of Fagios in a 10 car garage and uh, grab a car that's not weaponized that's really all you need so once you go into story mode from say loading up the game this is what you want to do before you even get into this solo dupe but once you have all the requirements ready you just want to go into story and then go into DM all right then once you're at the trailer here just go into DM as any character it really doesn't matter so once we're in here, what we're going to be doing is just freezing the time. Okay, now you could wait till midnight if you really wanted to and uh, and do that, but I'm just going to do it from here. Now, I I did attempt to try to like apply settings at midnight here and then try to freeze it. It doesn't work that way. Okay, After, unless you guys get it to work, I wasn't able to get it to work. Uh, so all you're going to do is just press triangle or Y to freeze time. Look at the bottom right. You see now it says unfreeze. You don't want to unfreeze. We just froze it. Just go ahead and press pause and go to game and load up the same game save that you just had all right you could load up a different one too i think that works as well but uh yeah so if you want to make it easy just load up the same game save that you had there as you can see i'm loading in the same spot and if i open up my phone the time is frozen at 804 okay so that's how you do the frozen time now once you have frozen time you can go to the online tab and go into an invite only session all right now once you spawn in hopefully the online time will be at a certain point where it's not too far away your time should be frozen mine was at 2015 right there which is 8 15. i want it to move forward you know an hour or two so you can wait a couple minutes and all you want to do is go to creator now once you go to creator you'll just go to another invite only session it's as simple as that and what's actually happening in the background is the clock is still going that's why if your friends are in a session their time will change you're freezing time only for yourself so once you go to creator and go into a new invite you're going to see right here as we're going in the time's going to change and catch up as we're about to spawn in so you see right here that's what's happening the time is still going but while you're in that session it's frozen okay so going to creator and going into a new a new invite only that moved my clock probably up an hour or two which would be a pretty good time to actually do this glitch so because you want it around 11 p.m 11 p.m is when the hookers come out so this is 22 25 that's 10 25 so I'm, I think they might be coming out here, but I just wanted to be sure. So I went to creator and I just did that whole thing one more time. All right. So I sp I'm spawning in now from going to creator and going into a new invite only. Once I've done that, I'm going to look at my clock. I should still be frozen and I'm frozen at 11, 12 p.m. OK, that's what you want or at around 11 a.m. So once you've frozen time, that's it. All right. You can just set up now to do the glitch. All right. And uh and and you don't have to worry about waiting all right that was the biggest you know downside about this glitch no waiting at all so at this point once i've ordered up my moc i'm also going to order up a car that i'm going to be using here to do the glitch and just so you guys know what this vehicle is it's just a banshee all right this is just a banshee that i bought from the uh, from the uh, legendary motorsport and this banshee all it has is 100 percent armor all right it has 100 percent armor and i did nothing else to it that's all if you guys are very curious about that so i'm gonna go ahead and set up the moc right here and the moc i probably could have set it up a little bit better but it really doesn't matter we're not going to be using the moc to wedge anymore guys so you can really park this wherever you get a blue circle all right i was thinking about parking it over here but before i started this until i realized that i could do it a different way so i'm just going to leave the moc there park it wherever you feel comfortable and get inside the car that you're going to be picking up the hooker in. this could be any vehicle in any garage uh, just make sure it's not weaponized 
So I'm just going to drive out with my Banshee, and I'm going to show you first how we're going to be wedging the girl. This is how it's going to work. So it's going to be at this spot right here. You can go to any spot you want, and you want to go over to the vehicle part of your interaction menu and go to vehicle access and make sure that it's on passengers, all right? Once it's on passengers, nobody can slide over to the driver's seat, and if you wedge the door, then there you go, all right? Put it together. You figured it out. So uh, if you go down this main road here, they there are, you know, girls everywhere to pick up. I'm telling you, just go at a decent speed and just look around. And there's, I feel like there's a bunch of spawn points that they added uh, because I see a bunch more when I when I have the frozen time here. So you can see right here, I almost missed her. They, they have a bunch of different types of clothes on and they're hiding behind trees sometimes. But yeah, go ahead and honk your horn, pick her up. And now you want to head back over to the casino or arena, whichever one you're doing the glitch at. Okay. So I'm going to fast forward. I'm just going to show you guys there's not really much driving. I mean, it's a relaxing glitch. Once you don't have the pressure of time, you know, in the background, then that's it. You're, you're fine. You can relax and do this glitch. So I've gotten back here. I'm just going to wedge the passenger side door. All right. That's all you got to do. Wedge the passenger side door. Doesn't matter if your door is not wedged. Go ahead and take out a gun and just shoot it to scare her. All right. Once you've scared her, you should be able to just get out as long as your vehicle access is on passengers like you see me right here. Okay. So it's on passengers. I'm just going to hop out and you see she can't slide over. All right. Now, if she's getting out, that's because you didn't shoot your gun. All right. You have got to shoot your gun once before you get out. Now, go ahead and take out your combat MG. All right. Once you have your combat MG, this is what you want to do. This is the after patch here. You want to go ahead and aim right here at the front of the bumper and just start unloading on the car. All right. Unload. You're going to see the bumper start to fall apart and wait for that message in the top left that says the vehicle's been destroyed. Once you have that, just stop shooting. It's OK that it's on fire a little bit. That actually will go out. It's a small fire and that won't cause the car to blow up. If you're causing the car to blow up, you're doing too much. All right. Call Moore's Mutual and you should have the Banshee up there in the in the menu list. Just go ahead and click on it and you've claimed the vehicle, you're good to go. All right, that's the after patch right there. Once you've done that, the car should still be there with the hooker. You want to run away, sign in as an MC if you're not yet, and uh, run away so that you don't have the return vehicle to storage option, but you still, but you can actually, you know, request a vehicle, okay? So right here, I'm going to go ahead and request, I'm using Fagio mods. You can just request the Fagio if you want. Uh, I'm just using those just to be, uh, you know, just to kind of discern from the modded Fagio that I have in my MC clubhouse. Oh, oh yeah, make sure that these Fagios are calling out are not in your MC clubhouse. That's very, very important. They have to be in a 10 car garage or something like that, just not the clubhouse. So I'm going to run into my penthouse garage, and this is where the car that I'm going to be duping is. Uh, you'd be running into your arena or wherever you're doing this glitch. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to grab my Issy right here. It has a custom plate on it. You're going to see that that actually changes once we get in here to do this part of the glitch. And uh, like I said before, could have set up the MOC a little bit better, but just wanted to get through this and show you guys how to actually hit this. Uh, and uh, yeah, so same as before, go ahead and while you're sitting in the car, take out a gun, shoot the hooker, and it should disappear. Look at your plate and your plate should change. I've gotten the plate from the Fagio that I requested. All right. And this is the dupe right here. So go ahead and press right D-pad and this will drive into the MOC. And if you had anything in the MOC before that, you know, prior to you driving in there, if you had an alert that you had to accept going in, then that car goes back over to wherever you requested the Fagio from. So if it was in a 10 car garage, that's where that car will be now. Just so you guys know, that's the path. All right. And uh, yeah, as you can see right here, there's still more spots that you can pick up the girls. And um, and yeah, just keep looking, guys. Once you have frozen time, you're good. You're solid. This glitch is definitely pretty good in its current state. So I'd recommend doing it. You probably have the whole weekend. Uh, take advantage now, all right? So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you enjoyed this solo money glitch video that I made for you. Uh, please, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, hit that subscribe button. Everybody turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I post any sort of content on my channel. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Go ahead and follow me on Twitch. Future live stream info there. And uh, if anybody's still interested in any PS4 accounts with money, cars, things like that, outfits, let me know. Go ahead and send me a message over on Discord or DM on Twitter. All right. So take it easy, guys, and have a good one. Peace.